Hey, good morning. So today I wanted to talk about a replacement vest I've got in the mail just recently. And uh, um, it's a replacement for this vest I'm wearing now. And um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because this vest is the best vest I've ever had. And I've tried a lot of different uh, uh, designs and manufacturers and whatnot. And, um, I found this one online uh, maybe, f I think like five years ago. Um, maybe it could be a little bit more, but it's made by Safety Apparel. And uh, that's an outfit um, out of Seattle, I think. And it's run by this guy, uh, Matthew Stansberry, hell of a nice guy. He's a surveyor and he actually designed it and had it made and sells them now under his own label. Um, you know, as a surveyor, he's got similar needs as uh, what we do in the field. Um, they, you know, they have to carry a lot of gear and have good access to it, have it hold up well, be comfortable, you know, all those things keep you comfortable. Um, so anyhow, I got it. And like I said, I've been really happy with it. It does everything I need and it's held up well. <laughs> it's getting kind of tattered now, but I mean, the way I use it, it's not surprising. So, um, it's got, a, you know, some really nice features. Uh, um, one of the things is it's got uh, here, it's got um, line pockets. And you can see that when it's getting worn out down there, but they're, they're kind of uh, plush lined, so you can warm up if you're standing around for a period. It's got a tremendous amount of pockets, um, and the pockets are really well designed. Like this one here really gets a lot of use. Um, this is my flagon pocket, and um, you know, it, it kind of the flag, and if I'm not using it, it'll slip back through. But uh, um, this is fairly common. But um, this pocket here, I use all the time. It holds two full rolls, and you can just pull out your flag and as you go. And uh, so that's super, something super important. And then it's got pockets everywhere. You know, it's got two big pockets um, down here. Um, this one here I actually am using now when I'm uh, walking a unit and um, my iPad will slip in there and it's secure. I also carry some other gear, um, a compass, an inclinometer. Um, I've got uh, some big uh, compression bandages, um, radio, phone, and um, these upper pockets have grommets here and I've got little bitty carabiners with strings on them so everything's attached to them um, a few years back um, I was running a line and I came to kind of a you know like it, it wasn't really a pond I think it actually was a pump chance for firefighting that had been dug but so it's like this big puddle you know big it wasn't more than a puddle but less than a lake of water and um, I can't remember exactly why I did, but I bent down over it and my cell phone was in my pocket. My cell phone fell out in the water and I could watch it just like disappear and I grabbed for it, but it was gone. So after that, I put a line on this and hook it in and I haven't lost one since. So then in the back, it's got, um, it's got a zippered pocket so you can slip stuff in that and zip it up tight. And then it's got a big pocket um, that goes through, and that pocket on the sides has, uh, a, you know, kind of a lip or a sewn lip, so you can stuff stuff in there. It won't fall out, but you can grab it without running the zipper. <laughs> and um, yeah, so um, then it's got um, clips for a microphone and uh you know just pockets everywhere um the zipper is really heavy duty it's held up great um and uh the shoulders are padded here because it ends up being quite a lot of weight like if you know especially like if you start tucking you know shit like rain gear in there you know if you're wearing rain gear and you need to take it off and which i've done so anyhow i really liked it <laughs> and uh this one was getting worn out, so I looked up the website again, the safety apparel, and you know, they're still making them, and the price I think is still the same. But I wrote them a note because the one thing that I'd like, I wanted, that I thought could be a little bit better about it was for a radio. And I don't pack a radio all the time, but um, 
you know, some, you know, these past couple years have been pretty good, but, but a few years before that have been pretty bad in terms of fire. And in fire, you often are running radio full time. Sometimes it's those big, you know, fire radios. <clears throat> This is a radio that we have in the company as a black box, and uh, it's fairly little, but I use these quite a bit, like, you know, when my wife is flagging for me or when I'm working with other flaggers. And uh, the thing I didn't like about it, this pocket, it's well located, but it, as you can see, you can't secure the radio. So I, I wrote Matthew a note and asked him if he could add some kind of, you know, Velcro or a strap or something. And uh, so, as I said, he's a hell of a nice guy. We had kind of had a good time talking about the change and he was able to prototype something for me. And so now I got in the mail and I just wanted to kind of switch over all the stuff that I pack around in it and show you um, how it works and, and uh, you know, try the new vest and, and uh, let you, let you um, take a peek. So I'm gonna pull this off and uh, we'll just kind of dig through that, the pockets here in a minute. Oh, this is another thing. Um, oh yeah, and this is worth noting too. Um, <clears throat> it's got the X back. And so that, that's, that works, uh, um, that's good for Canada um, as well as the, the States. I think the States, they require the ANSI two, And I think those are just vertical lines. Whereas Canada, I think that's the NC3 and they want the X. Um, it's got a heavy duty, um, you know, uh, fabric uh, holder there. It actually had two of them. I've worn one of them out. <clears throat> this one's still hanging in there. It's also got a, a heavy grommet there. And that works good in the truck because I've got an S hook in the cab that I can just hang it up on. And, uh, you know, like you can see these pockets in the back are awesome. These zippers, the, the, the side zippers, there's one on each side. They're not as heavy as the front. I'd think they could be, but uh, it's held up really well. And it's got uh, mesh on the sides. <clears throat> this is a another hanger, you know, like for a water bottle or something. I actually haven't used that. And then in the back, underneath that rain flap, it's got mesh too, so it'll kind of breathe. and. Uh, it's just really well designed. You can tell it was designed by somebody that, you know, wears it and uh, wanted it to be the way he wanted it. And you can see there's padding right there on both sides underneath the shoulder. And like you can see, you know, I mean, it's, I've gotten good, uh, good life out of it. It's uh, the uh, little uh, logo is falling off there. So yeah, let's break out the new one and uh, I'll flip it over. Yeah, so <laughs> it's all shiny and new. That won't last long. But anyhow, it certainly is bright. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that one's held up really well, considering it's a little bit faded. The, uh, I think this comes from, uh, I wear it a lot in the buncher when I'm, you know, using the radio, and I think that wears off, you know, because of that. I'm not exactly sure. That one strip there is kind of worn, but, uh, Yeah, I felt like the sizes were pretty good. I, I wear an extra large in most stuff because I, I wear it, you know, I want to They make a lightweight one, but uh, um, I'm kind of a heavyweight guy, you know, in, in terms of, you know, work clothes, so I went heavyweight. So, so anyhow, let's do this radio first because I'm kind of excited about that. I, I really enjoyed working with Matthew. He's really accommodate and he liked the idea of it. And uh, so, so uh, let's see if I can open this up so you can see it. So this is what I suggest it would be a Velcro scrap because, and I wanted it to be long, you know, so that, like I could say, like for a fire radio, sometimes those are those big Motorola's or Kenwood's and they're taller. So I wanted it would, so it would, the strap to be long enough so, you know, you could fit a big radio in there and be secure and, uh, but at the same time be small enough so this little radio could fit in there. So I put it in with the mic cord facing my arm and uh, that fits in there. And then, yeah, just like I was kind of hoping the strap comes down 
he put Velcro on it so it can go into that pocket in it there and be even more secure. So that strap is running in between the mic cord and the antenna. And the mic goes up. I like these mics because you can change this clip. You can just turn it so that fits in that holder. So, you know, I mean, it's just right there and you don't have to worry about it falling out. So, I mean, what I suggested to Matthew after seeing it, you know, <clears throat> was, I mean, and I hope that, you know, he likes the idea and like maybe, you know, some of this, you know, bright, heavy fabric with the Velcro attached to it. But, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, he did this work himself as a prototype and, you know, it's just what I wanted and I think it's going to work. So, yeah. So now let's dig through and see what I, what I uh, got in here. Start with the easy stuff. This is just the phone. And, uh, you know, these little carabiners, they work really well. They're quick and, and uh, they hold up good. Easy to slip in there. A lot of times with the you know, I won't wear this if I'm not wearing my, you know, my radio in the buncher. So a lot of times I'll pull the phone out, put it in the holder. So then here on this side, I've got two of them. And uh, the first one is this compass. It's an old Sunto I've had for, or it's a Silva. Yeah, Silva I've had for Oh boy, a long time. So that rides in this top pocket. Fits in there perfect. And then uh, this here, this is the Cento, and this is a is a compass, but I I use it for the uh, inclinometer and. Uh, this is a really good tool. It's pretty fun. It's very accurate. It's easy to use. Um, I got this, uh, um, uh, it's like a protector that fits over. It's, it's in an aluminum housing. And uh, so I got this protector. Um, but, it, you know, this is another one of those kind of expensive tools, you know, that you don't want to lose. So that cord works great. So these live in the vest, so I just clip them in and then they're good to go. That goes right down in that lower pocket. And then when I'm working, like in the in fire season, I'll pack a uh, Kestrel. And uh, uh, generally that'll go in this top pocket here. And uh, um, also I pack, I think, as I've said before, a small write in the rain notebook. and. Uh, with a Sharpie pen and, and that goes in this pocket here. And uh, those are also really handy to have. You gotta have a, you know, humidity gauge. And that Kestrel's great. And that little writing rain notebook, it's really handy to be able to write something down, phone number or something if you happen to need it. So then on this inside pocket here, um, these are repurposed heavy duty bags, but uh, um, I've, I've switched. I was running these blood stoppers, they called, which I got from Madsen's, and uh, um, that was a compression bandage, and I liked them, but um, these are military spec compression bandages, and um, they just, they're, they're, they're a little bit heavier duty. Um, they've got a, a nice uh, tensioner that comes with them, and I guess the thing I really liked was that the packaging was heavier duty but it's really easy to rip off as well. So I've got these, you know, they're in that original package inside a plastic bag and then they're inside this plastic bag. So, um, you know, these are something I, I've carried, you know, hand falling. Um, I've only had to use one of them once on myself. Um, I got swatted pretty good. Um, I was cutting by myself and it really, these things really work. Um, it was like I, I got knocked in the head, and, you know, head wound, it bleeds pretty good. I used it then, but I have had to use it once on another um, a co-worker, shovel operator that, uh, um, 
he got hurt and uh, um, slipped off a truck, helping a truck driver uh, set up a trailer on a mule train, and he slipped, and I was able to um, help him out. I did end up getting the uh, first aid kit out, but uh, I was glad to have these too. So uh, anyhow, so those go in that pocket. Like I said, when I'm walking now with a Zenza or even an Onyx in my laptop, that slips in this pocket here. It doesn't Velcro closed, but it's like there's only an inch or two sticking out. And uh, so it's really secure. And it's also even <laughs> under rain gear, I can just grab it, look at it, and stick it back in there easily. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so it's got these real, you know, now this is brand new, so it's got these fluffy pockets. And you know, it's pretty nice. They're cut big, you know, so you can fit big hands in there, even with gloves on. And uh, yeah, so let's see, I think that's, uh, yeah, just got sort of a couple of rolls of flag in here. I go through a ton of flag, and you know, it's interesting. We just uh, meeting with a uh, couple of managers on the farm there a few weeks ago, and there was a big discussion about my choice of pink flag. And then, I mean, I hang a lot of flag, in, and there was a concern about a conflict on that. And, uh, um, certainly, I guess there could be, but there hasn't been up to this point, and uh, I really kind of dug in my heels because I think that anybody that hangs flagging and then uses it, you know, especially in a buncher, the thing about flagging is I hang it up so I can see it, and uh, when I'm done flagging in a road, which or a trail for myself, um, I'll tell you what, you can see it, you know, you might need to put your sunglasses on, but and it, it may seem like overkill, but I'll tell you what, when, when I'm in the buncher, you know, cutting at night um, in the rain or the snow or whatever, you know, the fog, um, you know, with the lighting package on the bump, buncher, I mean, I can see where I'm going and that's time well spent. There's nothing worse than having to get out in the dark, you know, and try to figure out where you're going. And uh, yeah, so. So anyhow, there we go, man. It's uh, I'm happy, you know. It's uh, got a new one, and uh, I guess I just you know wanted to say I really enjoyed working with this guy. I recommend it if you're looking for a, a good, well-made vest uh, from you know from good people, the safety apparel, and uh, this guy Matthew Stansbury. Uh, they're good. It's a good outfit. I recommend it. It's uh, it's money well spent, and I'm looking forward to getting another five, six years out of this one. So. Yeah, so I guess that's uh, what we got for you. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching.